how are you doing team Win central here and we welcome you all to the hands-on video review of the windows 10 mobile build 15025 build 15025 is the latest insider preview build that microsoft has pushed to insiders in fast ring the build obviously belongs to the creators update and it brings few uh, new features or changes and uh, also lots of fixes and improvements so we will talk about our installation experience of this build. We will also <coughs> share our hands-on impressions in terms of performance, multitasking and how the build is coping up uh, in terms of daily uses. So coming to the installation experience, the installation experience can be said to be mixed. So uh, while I was trying to install the build, I mean, I was like unsuccessful a couple of times, then I did a soft reset and uh, then uh, it was it started uh, getting downloaded and then i was able to install it so uh, the same situation has been like uh, shared by many of our readers who say that it's not easy to download and install this build you can face issues so i mean a soft reset usually helps so while that is not a big deal being an insider we have many times even done hard reset and many times even have to reflash using a <coughs> recovery tool but then point is uh, if you talk about the installation experience then it can't be said to be smooth uh, i mean it's kind of mixed experience so there it is now coming to how the build behaves in uh, normal use so as you know we install the build on uh, our daily driver so that we can actually assess and analyze how the build actually behaves so one thing we can tell you that the build is uh, kind of rock solid so in terms of like it's not unstable you don't see random reboots crashes etc but as you can see <clears throat> there are few glitches which are very much visible so i mean the very basic scrolling of the app list is affected it's badly affected actually so you can see that while trying to scroll it it does not look at all smooth perhaps microsoft needs to work on this so one thing which is very clear and uh, apart from this uh, scrolling other things work fine basically when you come to the home screen home screen sc scrolling is quite good actually i don't see anything happening here but yes as soon as you go to the app list you will feel that it's not well sorted out there needs to be some kind of fix now let's open few of the apps which are like uh, basic apps so that will help in uh, analyzing assessing the multitasking part <clears throat> so here the cortana we have uh, heard some issues uh, from our readers we say that cortana does not open properly but in our case it's not the issue i mean we can see that cortana opens quite quickly so we have opened the store A story is one when uh, we see that there needs to be some kind of fix because at times we have seen that when you go for like you do the check for updates it keeps on you know just the circling uh, the circle starts and it keeps on going it keeps going on and nothing happens actually even if you like you come after uh, half an hour and you see it will be the same way so this I think needs a fix so there is an issue and even after installing this will be see we have faced the same issue so you do check for updates and it keeps on checking but nothing happens let's send it to the background we can open a few more apps i think maybe microsoft edge so that we can also check the browsing part so here is it welcome to microsoft edge now uh, let's open a few well-known websites and see how fast it works so it is fast it rendered really really fast i like it then we will open one more website to check whether the tabs are behaving properly or not
So we will open one more site. And so far so good. So it, I mean, rendering is good. So there are like three sites open and then we can actually check how the tabs behave when we, okay. yes. Good, so far so good. We can open one more thing. We can just check, quickly check the HTML uh, 6 score. So it's 461 out of 555 edge 15 on a microsoft lumia 640 excel so it's a respectable score i mean it could do better but still it's quite good score so so again we will go and uh, now let's see how the tabs we have so here it took a bit of time in uh, kind of coming back from resume Let's quickly check other tabs as well. Okay. So it reloads. So there it goes. I mean, <laughs> you need to see that after like opening four tabs, it seems that it cannot no longer hold it. So it had to reload one of the page, one of the site. But anyways, it does it quickly. But then obviously uh, there, I mean, it leaves a a point that uh, I mean kind of they should try to do a bit of RAM management where if like if we are sending a site to the background then it should stuck in it should be there in the background you should not reload because it actually consumes more time so that's where it can be improved as you can see it is reloading actually so far so good so not a big issue but it seems the ram management can do some improvements okay now let's send this uh, browser to the background we will quickly open the camera let's see how the camera works so that is how the camera works let's fast let's send this camera to the background now we will check the multitasking part of the apps so here we are we will open Cortana and it resumed fairly well store so story is kind of it has refreshed not exactly uh, it has resumed it has refreshed itself so I don't know I mean uh, that's not the default but it should resume but okay let's check the camera camera has resumed fairly well coming to the browser okay so here what we see is uh, that all the tabs are refreshing themselves it seems Yes, all the tabs are refreshing themselves once we have uh, tried to, you know, get them, uh, resume them from background. So perhaps this behavior can be improved. The multitasking part when we send the browser to the background to uh, the multitasking background, then when we resume it, it should resume from the point where we left. So because if it refreshes, so 
it's kind of uh, takes more time shows that it takes more time so uh, again there is a kind of possibility of improvement here okay now let's quickly check a uh, few games so one of the i mean optimized game which is subway surfer which we always show it to you and it's good because this game is optimized so it quickly shows that whether the build is up to mark or not Let's send to the background. We are quickly checking it whether uh, it can resume. In. So it resumes well. So that's what is good about our optimized game. Anyways, now so you can see that uh, during our hands-on time, there are no crashes, no like stucking, etc. Obviously, there are uh, there are there are points or there are places where there can be improvement. Like. RAM management can be improved, especially in case of browser. When you send it to background, it should not refresh, reload. It should resume. That is what can be improved. Store we saw there is a like issue with store where you check for updates. It does not work. It just keeps on checking. Then the third issue that we saw was like with a app list where you don't see a proper scrolling. It is like a bit hazy. So uh, kind of uh, these things can be improved. Coming to the battery life so if we go to here so our experience with uh, the battery life has been good with like 41 percent it's showing 13 hours and we can say that that is a fairly good estimate because our lumia 640 xl is living up well with this uh, build we did not see any 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 peak or any uh, you know increase in battery consumption so it's fairly well very balanced kind of building kit in terms of the battery consumption so if you're looking at 640 xl you can uh, i mean like 24 hours to 28 hours you can get based on your kind of uses you know from moderate to heavy for light users it can even last better so with that we come to end of this video uh, the build is okay i mean uh, we would not really recommend it for uh, you know daily uses because there can be issues uh, you know so the ram management with the browser we saw that there can be issues of like tabs reloading etc you may not like it then uh, but nothing of that deal breaker sort of so it 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 you can live with it if it's a, like a insider it's not a kind of scary kind of build which crashes a lot or freezes a lot so we talked about installation experience which is mixed we talked about battery life which is good actually surprisingly good we talked about uh, the places where there can be improvements so with that, we recommend this build for insiders. If you are in fast ring, you should go and uh, install this build. If you are in slow ring, if you want to go for a fast ring build, then it is fine. You can still go for this build. So thanks for watching and come back for more. Come back for when we post a review of the next build. So thanks again.